Welcome back to the channel guys. It is a super exciting day because we're working on a farm. The sun's out. I woke up. I'm excited. And we have Chris behind camera. But today we're frost seeding. And frost seeding is a very good technique to, to do on existing plots. It works best that way. If you just have a bare ground, like an old pasture, which that's another project we're gonna work on later on. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But this is an is a existing plot, so we're gonna take uh, eight pounds of clover. We have four pounds of medium red, four pounds of ladino, and um, we're gonna spread that out on this woods plot. Frost seeding, it's that time of year where the temperatures warm up in the day, freeze at night, they, the ground expands, contracts, expands, contracts, works that seed in the ground. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It, it's, it's not rocket science, it's pretty simple. We're gonna use a handbag spreader. Um, we're gonna just walk evenly across this. We're gonna mix all eight pounds in the bag, mix it all together, and uh, get to spreading guys pretty simple but it's a good technique all right easy way to do this here is I like to open the bag that way you can keep an eye in there to see how much seed you got I just walk back and forth crisscross cross stitch whatever whatever you want to call it but the settings on this thing there's settings on here and the bottom actually tells you what to use what number and I don't use that. I use my finger just to open it to where I want it. That way, it's just easier to gauge that way in my opinion. So I don't use it, the number on it. I actually just open it and hold it with my finger so I can easily see how heavy I'm spreading and just go like that. Some people will set it to the number. I like to just hold it with my finger. Let's get the spread. Frost seeding, super excited. I love frost seeding. Well, we just finished frost seeding guys and um, when you're doing this some people like to say use less seed than you would when you're establishing a plot some people say more I'm on on the more side because not all of this is going to germinate I don't like bare soil when you have bare soil it allows you know weeds to grow and things like that you got birds and this and this and this and you just have to compensate I like to oversee clover a little bit more on the heavy side you have a better stand you don't have bare spots and it'll just be better overall. So um, we'll let this go, we'll keep you guys updated. I did put a trail camera on, it, on this on time-lapse mode, so it sh we should be able to get a video of that growing through the trail camera on the stealth cam. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. This plot's done. In about four weeks, we'll come back in and we will hit this with some fertilizer. No point in fertilizing it now. Nothing's growing. We're in that frost seeding stage. So uh, if you guys have any questions, post them down below and uh, on to the next project on the farm today. See you guys.